here. She's running. I had to put the air intake and walk it back in there for a moment. But um, we know that the little chirping noise is the alternator bearing. That's the only one that needs fixing. It's not even really that loud right now. But we got her running. And uh, I don't see any leaks anywhere with anything. You can hear the valves tapping and things with the little clickers. So I don't see any problems down there anywhere with any water leaking or nothing like that. Everything looks good. So, no drips, no nothing. That water there is just residual from when I first fired it from the slopping it off the belt. The belt's dry. And everything's looking good. She's idling to 500 RPMs. No problem. We still got a check engine, but now we'll be able to see exactly what that is. But she's running real steady. No shaking. So I'm very happy with that. Clutch is working good with the fan. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for her to come up with the temp. Check her level. Which, of course, you can't tell because it's dirty. And we'll check the level. And then uh, it should be good to go. We'll take it for a little test drive. No coolant. The low coolant light's also out now, too. Oh, yeah. There's one other plug I wanted to check here. Up in there with the heater hose, that and that does not look like it's leaking, so we're we're gold there. We're good. I think you can call this a successful repair. So like I said, we're just gonna um, button her up, take her for a test drive, make sure everything's good. So that's your water pump there. Pretty much like four hours of work or so. Could have done a little faster, of course, but just taking the time to make sure everything went together good. With 240,000 miles on the clock. Seems idling good. Steady 500. Thermostat's about to open.